Hello there, I'm Forge Tech, and this is the Pipe Organ Haunted House Bundle, as well as the separate item, the Secret Door Portrait. Now, first we're going to start off with the Haunted House floors. First one is this nice old style concrete rock style. I mean, it's... If you're going to build like an old castle looking building or really old haunted house, I think this works really well. At the same time, it doesn't scream haunted house. You could you could make a, a lot of different buildings with it. This here is a tile set. I like it. They have just enough tiles broken and looking faded to really give it that old style, just beat up. You know, you could do it now old beat up blown up house or haunted house or whatever you want to do i love when they release a set that you can use for multiple builds kind of a little bit more bang for your buck now the pipe organ which is what the set was originally built around nice little dinged up nicked up it looks like it's been around since the war when you do it character sits down does give you the ap bonus that's really nice as you can see hands move Beat everything like that and move around kind of moves all around now it's of course he's not hitting all the keys exactly but you know has a great sound great vibe to it now up next is the haunted well, creepy well now this is not an actual well this is for decor it is not going to give you water I've checked in the water section. There is only one of these. It's decorative. Now it's got the skull literally nailed to it. This little hatchet. As you come down here, click it. It's got these ghosts that come out of it. Little noise, little flare. Has this creepy fog going on. Over here on the other side, it's got this chunk missing out of it. Makes it look a little bit less uniform. Now we got the tombstones here. They did a good job on the back. I hate when companies just make a flat back on these and don't do a good job on both sides. Kind of shows they cheaped out. They did good on it. I'll give them that one. Now, as you can see, each one's got its own design. You got the little skull, little hand at the bottom. I mean. This one here has got a face on it with a little imp on top looking down. And then finally this, you know, one here. Each of them have their own design. I feel like you could figure out a couple of good ways to do this. I think you can uh, come up with some ideas. Mothman Church, Haunted House, uh, Cemetery. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of different little things you can come up with that. I'm sure if you get creative, you might even be able to put them on top of something make it look like something else. Now, this, I put down two of these. It says activate. I have not been able to figure out what activate does. If you know, put it down in the comments. And I'll try to figure that out later. Um, does look good. Uh, once in Haunted House Bundle. I think this would make a great Raiders Camp accessory. Mothman Cultist. Any of those kind of, you know, I'm big and scary and everything like that. Has this nice raven on top. I actually enjoyed putting these in my attic. So you could actually hear the raven cawing. And it creates this really good ambience effect. Now, this is not part of the original bundle, but I grabbed this and I wasn't originally going to display it. I was just going to kind of talk about it in the background. But it shows a photo with two doors. It's not two doors. It's one door. And I think they did a terrible job explaining this because it's possibly one of the coolest effects so far that they've put out. Now I'm going to look at this door and watch the left door as I get close. As I get close, it suddenly starts to shift and it becomes the second photo. It slowly, gradually does over time as I get close. It actually is only out of the corner of your eye, or if you get really close to this, I think the fact that they did not explain this is going to cost them a lot of purchases. They really should have thought of this better. 
Um, in fact, I think this is why I actually started making videos like these, just to explain what they missed. Um, now, as I get close to this one, as you can see, he'll he'll actually start to little get a little bit worse, a little bit worse. You can watch his hands start, his jacket starts to get torn up. If I walk back a little bit, pristine condition. It's not just like a foot, you know, transition. It it is a gradual fade until he starts to get that way until full effect. I mean, it's got a lot of detail on this. I chose two separate walls just to make sure it didn't have a weird clip or anything like that. Now, this one here sticks a little bit out from the frame, but I mean, you it, it, I was looking for it. I don't that's the only reason I noticed it. Now, it does work a bit better on the concrete brick wall. All right, because it does have this back finish, as you can see. It doesn't quite work as good, but if you had maybe like the dungeon wall or the brick wall finish wallpaper, it would work better. Like I said, you can see it actually seals really nicely. It doesn't have any of those weird effects that sometimes they do. But all in all, I really think this is a good one. I also noticed that when I actually was opening and shutting it, he'd actually change. Which was another great effect. And I just think that they did not showcase this one well. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button so more people can see this. And, you know, maybe this helped you decide to pick up something else. Maybe gave you a few ideas. If you have any ideas for stuff like this that you would think about any of these items and what type of camp you'd like to see them in, put it in the comments below. I might try to do it in a future build. Alright, thanks for watching, and if you enjoy this sort of thing, hit subscribe.